Hey guys, it's Lemon here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Island video. Today we are going to be making winter tack sets for my horses. It feels like forever since I've made any tack sets, so I'm excited to get back into it. Um, and since I do already have a bunch of sets made, I'm going to be showing you guys those ones as well as editing them because some of them are very old and look kind of crazy. So we're going to be fixing them. Um, but first up, this is Frosty here. I named him Frosty because he has a snowman pattern. and yeah, I'm sure you guys have heard of Frosty the Snowman, am I right? Um, so he is honestly pretty set. I'm pretty happy with how he looks. Um, however, he does need a saddle, so let's just find one for him. When I was new to Wild Horse Islands, I don't know why, but I just wouldn't add saddles. Um, so I actually have a few pre-made saddles here. Or not pre-made, but pre-gotten. So I got this from Unicorn Academy. Um, and honestly, look at how good that looks on it. Like the gold and the gold and the blue is just the perfect blue. So I don't even think that we have to craft any. So Frosty is all set. So I want to make a polar bear tack set because that stuff is just adorable. Like look at the polar bear. And since it's adorable, we're going to be putting it on an adorable horse. So that would be an Icelandic. Okay, so here's all the Icelandics that we have. Um, I just caught this one earlier today as of me recording this. Um, and it had the best stats out of all of my Icelandics here, so I think that we'll do that one. Um, oh, so cute! Oh my goodness, I can't even. Let's do polar bear. Alright, so we have a saddle pad, we have the aura, we have a paper crown, we have bell boots, and then we also have a head bow. Okay, that's what we got going for now. And then let's pick a polar bear to put on the back. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really have good colors for this, so I think neon would be the best out of all of them. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then we don't have anything for the legs as of right now, unfortunately. But she's still cute. She's still adorable. It's still a polar bear. I also have some chin icicles that I could put. Um, I don't know if it'll look the best. Actually, it's fine. It kind of matches. We'll go with it. And I think that's it. So let's craft some stuff for this here, um, Icelandic. Do you think that the mane and tail is a little too dark for the polar bear colors? Or do you think it's fine? I think it's fine. It's cool. Tack-wise, I think we're probably going to do white. And let's just do a dressage set on this here horse. So here we'll do moonstone to match the neon. And then we'll do white. Craft. And equip. That looks cute. We'll do dressage to your moonstone. Color white. Craft. And equip. Alright, so now we need to think of a name for this lovely lady. Um, I just looked up names for polar bears. Uh, I think that Snowball would be a pretty cute name for this here Icelandic. Um, credits to right here for the idea. Um, so yeah, this is, this is gonna be Snowball. So cute. And then we'll feed her a golden apple to give her some bond. There we go, all good. And let's move on to our next horse. I think we're gonna do a gingerbread set and I actually already have a horse in mind. Um, so this here is Maxine. I bought her before the fawns came back for um, a, a, a lot of tokens. Um, and then I never ended up making a, um, a set for her and I think that the gingerbread set would look pretty cute with the fawn horses. Um, Cause I already have a Christmas tree pattern on another one of the fawns which would also look good. So we're gonna do gingerbread on her here. So we've got our gingerbread face pin, we've got the gingerbread aura, we'll do the gingerbread sports medicine boots, we'll do the tail ribbon, and we'll do the paper crown, and I think that's all that we have at the moment. So I really need a saddle pad for gingerbread. Um, I'll try and get one from the present machine, but I think that it looks pretty good with this. And then we also, of course, need um, the tack. We need a halter. So we have a bunch of tiers, the best being clear quartz, but I'm not sure if the pink would look the best. So I think out of these, we'll do the bronze one. And there we go. That looks pretty good. Pretty good if I do say so myself. Um, let's craft a saddle. I think a good one might be the barrel. I think that could look cool. And then tier, we're going to do bronze to match. And then I think green or red would look nice. Honestly, a dark red color might look pretty good with this um, on top of the green once we get it. Yeah, I think I think that would look good. Or normal red. 
Here, let's see the dark red. Yeah, I think that that would look good with the green saddle underneath of it. So we have a green saddle underneath, or saddle pad underneath once we get that, and then we have that. I, I think that I think that would look good. And then um, she was named Maxine by the previous owner, so we're just gonna keep that name. And then I have a few mouth accessories that we could possibly do. Um, this winter bell honestly might look nice. It's wooden. That's kind of fun. I kind of like it. We'll, we'll keep it as that. I mean, it is wooden. If we can get a better color, that would be good. But for now, I think it's fine. And then for the side, I have a bunch of various colored figure skates. So the dark red might look nice to complement our um, saddle here. So I think that this actually looks pretty good. And then we just need the saddle pad and that will complete our set here. So there's Maxine, she's all good. Okay, she's already locked. And let's move on to our next one. Uh, let's just do our next fawn horse. This is Noelle, I made her set last year. It has a Christmas tree set, as you can see. Um, but I think I'm just gonna make a few edits to it. One, I don't think the sapphire tier looks the best with this halter. So we'll see if we can get a better tier that would look better. Okay, I think that the iron would probably look better than the sapphire. Ooh, I also have a ruby one. That might look good too. Let's see the ruby. Oh, the ruby looks, mm, the ruby's a little bright. I like it though, honestly. We'll do the ruby for that. And then we need, I think what we need to do is craft a saddle. And then I also have some horseshoes. We'll give her the iron ones, cause why not? There we go. And let's go ahead and craft her a saddle. I think we'll just do all purpose because, you know, that's a pretty safe option to do. We got ruby. And then color wise, I think dark red would look nice once again. There we go. I think that would look pretty good. Craft and equip. I mean, it looks fine. I think it looks pretty good. So there's Noelle all fixed up. And then I want to do something with this green candy cane because we need to make a set with that. We could do is this is mistletoe. I. I don't even ask what's going on with his head. Honestly, it's hideous. I think we'll put the green candy cane on him um, and we'll just get rid of whatever is going on with this uh, mistletoe. I'm so sorry that you had to wear this for so long. We're gonna fix you up now. So we've got, we'll do a Western uh, saddle pad for that one. We'll do our paper crown, uh, polo wraps, tail bow, and then I don't wanna give him a head ribbon. So I think that's pretty good. I could give him these red candy cane bell boots to kind of just complement that down there. I don't know, I think it kind of looks nice, the green and the red kind of clashing like that. And then I have, I have a holiday bow or I have some figure skates. Let's see how the bow looks first. Oh, I like the bow. I think we're going to keep the bow. I like that. And then for the mouth, I, I have this Christmas present that I got, which is just going to be perfect i think we'll give him a normal candy cane aura that we have um again to contrast the green i think that's fun all right i got disconnected but we're back and we're gonna continue this set i also have candy cane antlers which are pretty fun so i don't know if i would want to do that for this like hmm that actually looks kind of cool like that it makes it interesting. And then we have the red and the green to kind of go along with our red and green thing. And then for the mouth, I think that we'll just stick with our present that we were going to do. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, the figure skates also look kind of cool with this though, but I also like the bow. Guys, it's so hard to pick. I think we'll just stick with the bow. We'll just leave it at that. And then I'll equip some hoof, um, what am I saying? Horseshoes. <laughs> and then we need to craft a uh, saddle and bridle. I think I have a bridle though that we can use. We can do green candy cane. Or I could do red candy cane. Again to contrast. Like that. Like is this gonna look like I just didn't have the pieces? Or is it gonna look good having like some green and some white? I don't really know. Does the copper look good? I might just do stone for that. Yeah, the stone looks better. Let's just craft our saddle now. We'll make this one a reigning saddle. 
and then tear i think will have the tear stone to match with the um bridle or halter and then color will do red to do that red theme <laughs> all right let's see i don't know how i feel about that i think instead we'll just do an all-purpose okay there we go that looks a little better okay so here's mistletoe now i mean it's definitely not my favorite set but i think it's fine for the most part i think i think it's okay guys i'm i'm so conflicted right now i don't i don't like the red the half red and the half green you know i'm one that does like full sets we're just gonna do that should i dye the main a different color you know i don't really have another green so <laughs> i guess we'll just keep it and then color wise for this we'll just do regular green okay i'm liking this a bit better yeah this should be fine i wish i had uh just like a solid green to dye the mane but i mean i guess it kind of pulls in the present so yeah this is mistletoe we'll try and get his hair figured out i don't know if i'm gonna keep this present um but he's looking relatively good for now and let, let's move on let's just let's be done with that hey guys so yes i'm on a different island um and this is a different time so I was editing my, editing my video and the recording was really, really long. So I'm going to be splitting uh, my tax set making into two different parts. Um, so you guys see part two of this and all of the other lovely tax sets I make for some more horses, including the Elf Frisian and fixing up my uh, Hot Cocoa Mustangs tack and fun stuff like that. So you will just have to stay tuned and you will have to wait to see what I end up making, um, which is going to be pretty fun. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed part one of this. Stay tuned um, for part two and be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye everybody.